between you, Lala, and your husband. Oh, oh whoa, her. whoa. Oh, hey. Okay, all right. So wait, backstory, backstory, backstory. Okay, go ahead. Because I held this in for an entire year, right? So when we first launched the reunion show, mm -hmm. somebody that claims to be working in Swizz's camp reached out to me in what I now know is a DM via direct messenger, right? saying, I work for Swiss and I need you to know that him and Lala have been having an affair. They are madly in love with each other, but he has already told Lala and continues to tell her, calm down, I'm not leaving my wife. If you don't believe me, go on his page on IG. He always starts leaving comments in the morning and she be the first one to respond. But she don't just leave one response. She keeps it going and going and going to the point where he says, you gotta chill because it's starting to look obvious to my wife so i said who are you and why are you giving this information to me god i love you thank you so much I'm blessed. but i'm not gonna be the one i'm not gonna be the one to mess up my new chance by taking this information and running with it so i've never i never went hard with it i might have mentioned it slightly but i never went hard with it then so like a little after that Alicia Keys drops an album or a single. Mike, tell her the title. The title would be La La. What? <gasps> Get the Florida water. Get the Florida water. Get the father, the spirit, uh -huh. the holy son. I got to Google this. Hold on. Hi, guys. So I just wanted to come and touch on this story that I saw yesterday kind of floating uh, on Instagram. Now, it's all allegedly. I don't know what's true, what's not. Um, a lot of people in the comments, of course, they don't want to believe it. Um, but, you know, who's to say? The lady is saying she has a source. But before I get into that, I do want to touch on Miss Jones and a different story. Um, because I, cre I made a video around her interview when she was... Um, you know, she was in an interview recently, I believe it was like over the summer, um, and she was talking about a relationship, well, not really a relationship, I guess, I don't know what to call it, a hookup between her and um, Moni Love and Tupac, right? And this was obviously years and years ago. Um, she was saying that they had a threesome or something, but Moni Love is saying that that's not true. Moni, recently in her interview, she finally, I don't know why she waited so long to speak up, um, but she is finally speaking on the, because someone asked her about it. Maybe that's the reason. I don't know, but I think she has a radio show or something herself. And so maybe she is talking about it in her uh, city. I don't, the city, wherever she's, I think she's in Atlanta. Um... I don't know where she is because I know she was on Dish Nation for a, a minute as well. So I'm not real sure what city she's in now. Um, but she maybe she did speak on it and I just didn't know about it. But she's saying that that's not true. And I just kind of wanted to touch on that again because I, I know I put a video up about this. And it might be on this channel or maybe it was on a, an older channel. Um, I don't know. But... Um, so yeah, I'm curious to hear what Miss um, Jones will say about what uh, Moni Love had to say. And so now just to get into some other stories, because there's a couple other things I wanted to touch on as well, like um, Sherry Shepard, you know, kind of um, putting it out there that she almost dated Common um, while she was hosting uh, Wendy Williams' show while she was filling in for Wendy. And I thought at first, like, okay, why is she telling us this? But then I thought about it. Oh, okay, he did recently announce that he's single again to, uh, you know, talk, you know, kind of just put it out there, put it in the air, um, whatever you choose to say. Um, that she's single and that he, you know, now that he's single, I don't know. Like, he seems to like these women in the industry. So, you know, we'll see what happens with that. Um and speaking of Wendy Williams' show, like they're saying that she's not going to come back in January. Um, I think the mainstream media is reporting that. So I don't know what's. I just. I still. I stand by what I. I feel. I don't think that they're just going to drop her like that. That's just my. What I believe. 
I think she is going to go back to the show at some point. I think she said that she had a two year, like a two year deal and she had like two years left and she probably would uh, step down at that time. So I think that she definitely will come back at some point. Um, now someone else, like some people were saying in the comments that would be a good fit to sit in on Wendy's show is Miss Jones, right? She definitely would do great in that Hot Topics segment. I think she's a good fit. Now, but considering the history between her and Wendy, even though I know they they made up or whatever, make you know they're making nice or whatever, um, I just think Wendy probably would not suggest her. But I do think she is a good fit to sit in the chair. Um, and that's just my opinion. A lot of people were saying that in the comments on the Jasmine brand as well. Um... Now, getting back to this whole Swiss and Lala situation, I don't know what's true, what's not. I really don't care, to be honest. But what IZ wrote in on, and she's saying that she has a source. So maybe she really has the source. You know, um, I have picked up on things like that before, like people liking people every day. You know, you, you will see the same person at the top of the likes for um the same person like you you will see that um because i you know i'm the type of person that's you know after i see whatever the picture or the video or the story is i will go to the comments and you know you see the likes above the comments and so you do notice that you know i have noticed that before as well and i'm not going to say who or get off into that but you know you can pick up on stuff like that uh, so I will agree with her on that uh, everybody may not be looking for that but if you are you can see it um, so I don't know what's true and what's not true and I also think the fact that he was the one who tried to come out and clear it up is uh, slightly telling as well I think that Lala is the person that you want to set out to clear up a, a rumor like that because, you know, he has been in situations like that before. I don't know that she has been so much. I know there have things been said about her, but I don't know about her and her marriage, stepping out of her marriage or into someone else's marriage or anything like that. But because considering he has a history, I don't put anything past him in that way. Um, I, you know, can see it happening. I don't know if it's true. I'm just saying you know, and she is saying she has a source. We'll have to wait and see if that source will come forward and and talk. You know, um, Miss Jones has a podcast. I know she has a podcast here on YouTube. I don't know if she's on some other platforms as well. Um, so you never know if that person has something, you know, phone records or text messages or, you know, emails, pictures things that she can prove or he he or she can prove what they are saying is true or not so you know you know we don't know and i find it interesting that lala hasn't said anything but he was very quick to come out and say knock it off so i don't know let me know what you guys think in the comments um i think that people are paying attention more like i said to swiss and uh, timberland because of versus you know, I don't think that women are necessarily on their pages for them. You know, I think they are both married or one, you know, I don't know. I think they're in, you know, relationships. So I don't think women are necessarily looking at them like that. I think that, um, you know, it's the verse, it's, you know, people looking for information about verses more so than them. And that's just my opinion. Um, you guys can let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. What do you think about Sherry and, and comment her trying to like put it out there that she almost dated him. You know, now that he's single. Um, what, what do you think about the Wendy situation? I'm not really big on wanting to keep making videos accusing her of anything or saying anything about her health. You know, she is at a particular age. Anything can happen. I'm not going to get off into all of that. I'm not that person. Um, but I do think she's going to come back to the show, and that's just my opinion. Um, what do you think about Miss Jones sitting in? However, do you think she would be a good fit to fill in for Wendy while she's out? 
and what do you think about this rumor and this source let me know in the comments and i'll see you guys in the next video